Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a milk makeup first impressions thing with nothing on my face. Don't come for me in the comments. Um, yeah, it's been a while and not done any videos for like two months or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just like do this and kind of maybe do like a get ready with me kind of video. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so what am I going to use first? I am going to um, put a bit of moisture on my face because it's feeling really dry and I've lost my moisture. I've been using um, Body Shop Gel Moisture Cream, so I'm going to stick this on because, yeah. So I'm going to be using the Foundation Stick um, by Milk Makeup. I've already seen reviews of this and they said it was like really drying on the skin so I'm not going to use my primer. Okay so here is the foundation stick and I got this in the shade Nude. I did the skin matching thing so if you've not seen this it's got like a magnetic closing. I have tested it already so it's not like a full impression, but it was like more like swatching it. Um, I think this matches my skin pretty well. I've not got any complaints about it. So, well, color wise. So I'm just going to apply this. Right, I'm going to use this um, little beauty blender. Okay, that's a bit better. So yeah, so I got my hair cut again. Um, kind of like rocking the eye bald kind of mohawk thing going on. I don't know, it did, I just go in and ask her to shave it off now. I really just don't freaking care. I feel so stupid talking to the camera because I've never really done like a get ready with me. Because nobody really asked for me to do them, so <laughs> you got one now. So I'm just going to like beat this into my skin until I don't look completely dead. Which is going to be hard because I have had like the week, like the week from hell. So what happened was we ended up with a leak in my bathroom, the ceiling, from the bathroom upstairs down to the bathroom downstairs. That was fun. Then the cats came home with fleas and anything and everything that could go wrong, it went wrong. So that's what my week's been like, like just everything in general. So okay, so what do I think of this foundation? I really like the colour. I feel they've really got to kind of like buff it out though. I mean... I don't look so dead. It's quite even though. If in case you're wondering why I'm looking over here, I have my mirror, like my big mirror over here. That's a foundation on. It's really like close to my skin color, so you, it doesn't, it's not like a full coverage, or, well I feel it's not full coverage. I think it's quite light. Um, so, so I still don't look human enough, you know, with just that on. I, you know, doesn't help that I have like thin brows as well as thin hair. Anyway, so we're going to move on to the matte bronzer stick. Um, I just got this in the post, so this is like your stick. And I'm going to, I saw like the used brushes, so I'm going to use this brush here and just use this to apply and see what happens. This could be like, I hope it's not too dark, but. We're just gonna, it's gonna be weird because I've got like my shaved bit, so, oh, she dark, okay, so you don't need much of that. That was my first mistake. I know I totally call this video, get ready with me and watch me mess up my makeup. That is what, that is what today's going to be. It's going to be one of those. Okay, right, I need to do something with this hair. The hair is in the way. Do I have a hairband? 
I don't have a hairband. Right, I'm just gonna stick the cat ears on. Cause, well that's a look. Huh. Okay, right, let's get back to the nose. So I need to pull you this back a bit of contour over here. Maybe I should have just like put the stick on or not. I just feel like this is going so wrong. Maybe because I was like originally not in the mood to film anything. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna just like go here as well. Oh my god, this is gonna look so awful. Okay, so I put it where I want it to go. Now I'm gonna buff it out. So you might want to skip this bit because it's gonna be boring. Should get lights in here to do this because I'm noticing we're getting a bit of. Ooh, weird stuff going on because I had the little mirror, so, yeah. Okay, that'll, that'll do. Um, um, yeah. So, because I said already, this is a milk makeup impression style video full face thing going on. I've got the mini blusher. I actually have it in the full size as well. This is what the full size looks like and this is what the mini looks like. You actually got loads in the mini um, and I tried it, fell over the colour so I had to get the full size one to keep for later. Um, so this is a blusher, you can also use it on your lips as well. I don't really like doing that, I prefer my liquid matte lipsticks but that's just me. But it's kind of cool because you can pop in your bag. Now I don't put any powder on because that will not really work so I always put this on with my base and I feel like I look orange in the camera like few thing but okay let's bung this on and I just like throw it on like just go for it we're going for the clown makeup look today once I put some color in my cheeks I don't look so bad I don't look like death warmed up how appropriate for Halloween coming what are you guys doing for Halloween I am doing nothing as per usual. Um, we used to do Halloween parties with the little one, but it doesn't go so well now. They're a bit more structured in a sense, like they play more games. When last year she ended up having a meltdown for someone changed the rules of the game. And anybody knows what it's like having an autistic child. That's a big no-no. So I like to take my blusher really up high. Because why not? We were just having a dramatic makeup look. I mean, it probably looks fine, but... Yeah. So, like, I know it's like the foundation kind of leaves like a dewy kind of oily glow. That's not what I like, so I will be putting powder on top of this. And I do have the powder um, by the same company, but let me just finish doing this and that will probably be my next step. Okay, so um, we're going to move on to the powder and it's from the same company, obviously. Um, can we talk about this for a minute though? Because I absolutely love this. I love the packaging. I love how big it is as well. Now, you think, okay, yeah, and then you do the, the usual. No, but this one, mm -mm. I love this. So it's got like this little door. And then, oof, a little bit of product. You have like this mesh. I don't know if you, I don't want to poke out too much of my long nails. And then you get your powder. So I love that because I'm really messy with powder. I can give it a little shake. And then I open her up so we have some product here. And do we have a brush? My stuff is all over the place today. Like, I didn't really prepare for this video at all. I just was like, I'm going to do a video. So I'm just getting like this powder onto my brush, just really gently. Um, what color did I get this in? Uh, just translucent light. So we're gonna put that on, get rid of some of this shine. I 
does have like a really soft vanilla smell to it. Like a really nice scent, but it's not too overpowering. So I love that. Honestly, this is like my favorite translucent powder at the moment. So I'm all for it. And that kind of like takes some of that glowy, oily look away that I feel the foundation sometimes leaves on me. And it's just making me a little bit more human looking. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with any concealer because I don't have any concealer by Milk Makeup because um, I'm still using up my Jeffree Star one. What do I do next? Now, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Now, I always like line my eyebrows with something just to give me a shape, but it is a revolution. Revolution? Makeup one. It's not the best, but it does the job. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to also use the Milk Makeup Crush Fiber Brow, and I use that in Grind, shade Grind. So I'll be using that. Um, my lips are feeling really dry, so I'm just going to use the lip balm that they have, which happens to be a tinted one. That's better. So, right, I'm going to do these brows. Bear with me, guys. So, I kind of like do the underneath first. And then, obviously, I shave my eyebrows. So, well, I shave a part of my eyebrow. Just because, why not? And I've got to work around that too. So, I'm going to do this really quickly and come right back. Okay, so I've kind of like shaped my brows. They'll look really weird begin with so I'm going to go in with the um, fiber gel now just to fluff them up um, I like to have a shape to work with so don't end up wonky brows probably end up wonky brows anyway but you know so this is what it looks like I haven't really been showing you the products but yeah okay so just gonna have a steady hand and do this I really do like this product you can use it like on its own you don't have to do a shape you know to make it more natural looking um i like putting this on like if i'm going to the gym or something just batting some mascara i actually like this one that much that i actually went and bought another one so i have a back i've got this thing you need to have back up of my favorite things Like so, and then I'm just gonna go into the other brow. That's so weird doing this. I think it feels weird that I'm doing this in a different room and not the other room. It's because the other room is a complete mess at the moment. I try to get rid of things and declutter because this room um, did get um, redecorated. You might be able to just see over my shoulder, there's like in the reflection of the mirror there. Um, that we did this room up. So I was so glad to get it done. And we've got more decorating to do thanks to the sink um, having a leak. So yeah, and we've been doing like rewiring and recabling downstairs. So everything was a bit crazy. Um, yeah, so let's just tidy up these brows a little bit. Okay. I've just gone and dropped everything. Uh, I'm just going to get my beauty blender and just I'm going to tidy that up every so little bit. Like that. Okay, and I get a little bit. Just using the same brush. Again, that had the powder on this too fade these bits out ever so slightly because nobody has brows that thick in the centre. Or if you do, they're tattooed on. Okay. So already that's like my base and I'm happy with that. So far all these products I'm really impressed with. Um, so yeah, what else do I have that I could use? Okay, so I don't have any eyeshadow by these guys, 
So I'm going to skip the eyeshadow. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can get it out. Use the new Lit Flex highlighter that they do. This is so pretty. I love this. If they can open it. There we go. So that is the highlighter. So pretty. So I'm going to put that on. So pretty. I don't know why I put it on the end of my nose. Everybody seems to do it now. It seems to be the end thing. So I'll do that. And I'm just going to get like a tiny brush and dip that in. I like to like highlight my, my fake scar thing going on. Can I just put a little under here? Eh, might as well put some somewhere else. Why not? Maybe put it in here. Okay, so I'm just going to use um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It's not my favourite, but I'm using it up anyway because I have the Fenty one to try. So I'm just going to use this and oh, if I can open it and put on a wing. Like it says, I don't have any, I don't think they do eyeshadow. I don't think they do like pigments in a tube, but yeah, I don't have any of those, so will not bother. That was like a moment of silence because you just don't want to get your eyeliner wrong. Oh, I think we've gone a bit far. Oh well. Okay. Um, what I also like to do is I like to use a liquid eyeliner to highlight some beauty marks that I have. So. Why not? Might as well be extra. So, probably didn't see that in the camera, but I put it here. So, moving back to the milk makeup, I'm using the mascara. I do have the waterproof one, but I'm using this one up just now. Um, it's really nice. I, I feel it makes my eyelashes look a lot bigger. The only thing I don't like about this one is it's got like this massive brush and like once you get the hang of it it's okay but if you're if you see this and you're scared you know it's gonna you're gonna need a lot of practice <laughs> so I'm just gonna like put this on oops try not to get the camera like completely fall over I always feel like no matter what my makeup is, as long as I do eyeliner and mascara, life's gonna be okay. Or at least the day's gonna be okay. I'm not sure if Milk do their own eyeliner. I would kind of be scared to use their eyeliner, especially if it's the liquid one, because they have the stamps, the tattoo stamps, and those things don't budge, and they also stain your skin as well. Um, so I don't know if I'd want that on to work like that with an eyeliner. But I'm trying to be so careful here and not talk while I'm doing this. We've done that. And or like I just feel so much better now that I actually have some makeup on. What else do we need to do? I spoke about the stamps. Let's just stamp because it's you know, it's milk makeup, why not? So I have the love heart and a star. I'm going to go for the love heart. So this is always fun because when I do the placements, I always get them wrong or the like off center, which is kind of funny. So we'll go for the love heart and we'll just do one under the eye maybe. Mm. Do one over here, maybe on the highlighter. Okay. Let's see if I get this right. Just uh, there. Huh. Actually, did not bad this time. So yeah, okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a bit of setting spray. Um, I'm not gonna 
do my lips. Well, I have kind of done my lips. Maybe I'll just like go in with this, with my lips. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and dab that on. I do not normally do that. that. That felt really alien to me. Um, and then I'm just gonna get like a setting spray and then I'm gonna wing that on. I think, I think that's everything. So yeah, so let's spray. And I would say that's done. So let me go start my hair um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the makeup all on. I don't have the best lighting in this room. I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to film because um, things are a bit crazy in this house. Um, so let's just talk about the makeup. So the... I lost it already. <laughs> so the foundation, it's nice, it's cute, it's kind of, I like that it's compact, um, it's kind of difficult to blend, it's kind of like, I don't know, it, it, I'm not used to a stick foundation so I kind of found it a little bit hard to work with. The um, blusher I love, but you guys already knew that. The I'm still getting used to this for contouring, I think it does a good job, um, you, you just don't need as much as I used. Uh, I love the lip um, balms, you can get them in different colours, um, I normally go for the dragon green, green dragon, dragon green, what's it called? I can't remember, I had it a minute ago, but I did use um, plush berry, uh, and then I put the blusher work on top of my lips. Love the, the highlighter, it's amazing, it's one of my favourite highlighters. Um, love the brow stuff. Uh, the stamps are cool, but they do tend to stain your face. Um, when you, once you take your makeup off, you will see like a little love heart left over. Um, yeah, so I mean, I really like the products. I really like everything about them. Really happy with them. They're really kind of pricey though, so that kind of does put me off. Um, but I really did want to try them. I'd seen so many reviews about this stuff. Um, yeah, so. That's pretty much a video. It's probably the, the worst get ready with me video I've ever done. It's probably actually the worst video I've ever done, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, it's kind of rushed. Yeah, so um, that is my video, my what I thought of the products. Um, kind of like a get ready with me, I guess it was. Not that I'm actually going out or anything, I was just putting on makeup. Um, it's been a while since I've done videos, so sorry for that. I don't know who watches my videos, like I'll be brutally honest, I do not know who watches my videos, who likes my videos, who even subscribes to me. I don't even think my subscribers actually watch many of my videos. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to keep my videos really like down to earth and real. I'm just kind of going for the kind of, I'm just getting ready in my bedroom look um, type video. So yeah, so hope you like the video. If you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. And I'll try not leave it too late. So yeah, catch you later. Bye.